Hello everyone and welcome back to Steel Division 2! Today with a game between myself playing first DFL and I'm playing against P. Yuri Tanner using the 19 tank corpse. And uh, P. Yuri Tanner, the indestructible, should I say, because I've never been able to defeat him. So uh, this is sure to be a doozy of a game. Um, he is playing on Maverick, and he's playing with the 19 tank court though, so that uh, I think it could help me if I make it to survive to phase C. But we will see. Um, let's look at the deployment for a second. So this is gonna be Tanner's deployment, which is... Uh, quite normal nothing really too aggressive so maybe here in the north and this is gonna be my deployment so I have a lot of partisan here uh, FFI partisan I'm gonna try to I'm gonna get two into this house there I'm gonna get one in here and uh, I do have a couple of machine guns so I got a one machine gun going there one machine gun going there and I do have a buffers going right here and I got more partisan they are gonna try to go for the uh, for the back here to try to stop his reinforcement from coming. And basically, I've put everything I had here. So 157 millimeter uh, anti tank gun right here to stop his tanks from going from going there. And why do I want to do that? Is because <laughs> I got two M8 Greyhound, I got M8 Abusier, and I got. Uh, M5 Stewart tank and they're all going here and then we're gonna go here parallel to the house but not quite there but just here so I'm gonna try to with these tanks destroy everything he's got here and in case he brings a tank to counter these guys here then I'll have the anti-tank gun so guys we're gonna take a look at that and We'll start the game right away. So, and uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, wild deployment. We're gonna see if it works or not. So, let's play. All right, the game has started. So you notice I'm actually, I, I don't have anything here because I needed all my points for these guys. 3 M5, 3 M8, and a couple of Greyhounds. And uh, yeah, sometimes sometime I like to do a lot of wild openings and see if they work. So I have these partisans here, they're going to try to make their way. He's not going to unload for me here. Um, I saw these cannons. I, you know, I just kept going on my way. Here I was able to make it with two partisans in the in towns and the third one there. MG getting in position. So I destroyed at least his HE, uh, but it's really it's the AT that uh, I want to destroy. But here's my guys. Parts in here getting destroyed. Now I am bringing some reinforcement finally in the form of Sapar with the half tracks. He's bringing a B25 Mitchell just for the machine gun. So uh, well, you know that's gonna kill it for sure. He doesn't have much in town either, uh, which will make these much more powerful. I do have two machine guns here covering the road with uh, buffers right there as well. So I'm going to change direction because I, I do imagine he's going to bring some anti-tank around there. 
So I just kind of completely change direction there. Go in here to clear away for my Sapa. Bring more sapars here. They're gonna go here with a Commando d'Afrique coming in. SU 152, start shooting at these guys. Make some uh, pretty terrible damage, but uh, I've, I've got so many, I don't think it's gonna matter that much. There you go. So, uh,. This is cleared. Now I do have my infantry also in position and I'm starting to boost up uh, the the other flanks. It's a good thing he didn't push too far here. He did push with his half track, but I do have 12.7 millimeter machine gun, which would have been able to, you know, stop them. Uh, but unfortunately there was a plane that came, uh, that came in. But um, yeah, and I do have 12.5 millimeter half track here as well, so I'm I'm equipped to take out his 12.7. Um, Pretty dangerous here, but I guess he doesn't know what I have here. Uh, bringing the sapar. Misses the side shot. Now he's probably going to get destroyed. Nope. I back up. I'm going forward with these guys. I'm going to try to bring this M5 here to get a flank shot on him. And I'm, I'm bringing another one here. And we're going to try to advance and uh, shoot from the side. But here comes the VZVOD PTR. They got three PTRD bullets. But it's not going to do the trick against all of that. That's for sure. One M2 dead. There's going to be another one to kill there. So this Resvetka took care of both my um, half track with the Strelki. But I do have Sapars here. They are pretty powerful unit. Ten rifles, one Thompson, one TNT, one Bazooka. These are jacks of all trades really. And uh, they're going to show their work. Cannon coming in here just in case he's thinking of bringing a tank. Which in fact he is. All right, so this guy actually died from that dude there. Uh, yeah, that dude with the turret stuck that stayed there. He killed from that distance. Now there's an 85 here in the middle of town. All right, so what I'm going to do with these guys, I'm going to keep the abstract there to keep the uh, area of influence. But with these guys, I'm going to actually move here and I'm going to try to kill his SU-152. Because that's a real problem for my infantry. Legionnaire, these are pretty good. They got two bar automatic rifle, uh, Browning automatic rifle. They got eight rifle, three Thompson, one TNT, two star they are as well. So really good, uh, really good infantry here. Now he sees that, he's going to try to back up. Unfortunately for me, I had my, my troops move here and I forgot to, to micro that. So now this guy stopped right there. Then I saw this and I bring it back there. But uh, it's going to take a while for him. Ooh, ouch, right in the face. He gets there, I want to get the side shot. But he keeps aiming in the reverse. And that's going to decide his fate. So I'm trying to maneuver around him. Uh, but uh, not quick enough. I'm going to die right there. There you go. But I, I do have these dudes. So I got one M5, one M8 there. Plus one zooming right past. There you go. This one misses. And this one gets the shot. I brought two M5 uh, tank in here. That's going to be good to cover uh, the infantry. 
P47 was hitting something. I can't remember what it was, but it sure did kill it because these are pretty powerful. So with all my uh, small light vehicles, I'm removing the threats around here. Put my machine gun back in there. I killed things here and now I'm going to go for this forest. Somehow the recon here survived. I brought back a cannon here. I'm gonna bring these guys into the forest as well and create another mega light vehicle rush. Just like I did in town, but I, I, I lost a lot uh, in this whole battle. So I only got two left from the six that I had. So there you go, some reinforcement coming in from this forest. Uh, P-47 killed the unit that was there. Flag for me. 16-8 for me. And this was pretty good, pretty big news for me because, like I said, I've never been able to beat Tanner. So I was really, really high on my horse here. Uh, I was very glad. Now, the thing that is difficult when you push like that, when you have a breakthrough, is to actually hold the line. Because the further you are from your reinforcement, the harder it is to keep the momentum. Because your troop takes a long time to come in. Now you see I had all of that, but the enemy quickly regained it. But at least you know I have these two flags already set up. So that's going to help. I do have the M8 recon here. That's going to help my infantry. Do have more legionnaires coming in as well. So you know you got to keep the constant flow of reinforcement coming something i didn't do here and now i'm kind of paying the price so he's recaptured this he's recaptured this now i've cleaned house here a little bit i'm gonna move these guys around because i don't want him to have an answer now you see he's gonna bring stuff here to counter these things and uh but i'm moving away already so this is not gonna be useful here because i'm not gonna keep pushing And plus, you know, it makes him spend stuff on, on things he doesn't want. Now, I am on the offensive even though I'm playing balance. And he can't be on the offensive even though he's playing, you know, Maverick. So, this is pretty bad for him. Legionnaire 2-star with two Browning Automatic Rifle are definitely going to, you know, defeat these guys. gonna bring my recon a little bit my half track to try to support the infantry as much as I can now he's brought a KV-85 here I did well but I'm gonna be controlling this edge of the forest so that he can't move in and start shooting me here and also I got my infantry coming in and this is a bimp unit uh pretty much all of my infantry has bazookas so I'm planning on killing that KV-8 um, I was going to unload here first but then I saw that so I'm gonna bring it there and uh, support my tanks machine gun two star machine gun too it's gonna suppress my legionnaire pretty bad but i might just outright kill them before no i'm starting to bring some uh, throwaway infantry here the tirayar aef with a td right here there you go so i do have my bazooka infantry here and kv5 is coming he was coming to kill these guys but i don't think that's gonna happen now one bazooka shot survives the day but it's not gonna be able to survive a second one and now i'm killing the m42 with the machine gun and the bimp it's a pretty bad day for tanner here now I'm going to bring back these guys because I figured that's probably all he had for anti-tank and I was right. So I'm going to kill that half-track with the tanks. Here in town I'm getting a little bit overwhelmed but uh, you know all is good. I do have the Tirayar AEF here. I'm going to fall back before I surrender but I don't think that's going to be enough. We'll see. If you notice, I don't play with any leader, so uh, surrendering is a real threat for me. 
but I'm gonna try to counter now you see I ran out of I'm about to run out of machine gun bullets he started to bring infantry BA203 millimeter these are big and one thing I know about Tanner is if I want to defeat him I need to counteract his uh, artillery so right now I'm not doing that uh, but I will I'm keeping these guys in the middle now uh, with the BIM and hopefully that's gonna do trick for a while I just need to keep pressure uh, at places you know so that he doesn't try to recapture these flag but start working on on that one first because that's the easiest but instead he's gonna move a lot of infantry here I think he already tried as you can see here uh, but the M5 Stewart are uh, diligently holding up the uh, the place I mean Christ try to attack uphill against a vehicle like that plus I do have my infantry here my sapar with the TNT and the bazooka fight is still going out in town going out these uh, had fallback so I'm gonna remove back them into the forest here he's gonna bring some more machine gun and strelki now he's starting to shoot at me with the artillery it's gonna do a lot of damage a lot of suppression which isn't good for me bazooka right here probably gonna destroy my m5 eventually but there you go I captured back this ouch Another M5 coming into town. I have uh, this doing whatever. Bring some BIMP units around here to bolster my defenses. Now he's bringing a lot of units plus the T-34-85. Uh, this, this is gonna be a fucking doozy when it starts attacking. But I'm also having reinforcements. So I saw that these were weak. This is not capturing frontline, and these can die anytime, so I figured I'd bring more infantry. Fight in town is taking a relaxed approach now. He's gonna wait for his reinforcement before pushing more. And now, to counter this artillery, I brought back my own 155. Here's the attack! There you go, Bazooka and the Titan misses because they're so suppressed that they miss. So now I'm in a lot of trouble. I'm gonna back these guys up because I don't want a T-34 destroying me and I want to keep I want the T-34 to advance and get shot by the BIM. Alright, one M5 down. I'm gonna have to move forward. He's he's throwing artillery on me as well. Aligning? And there you go, T-34 dead. I'm gonna bring back this M5. I'm gonna uh, retreat these dudes. And there you go, now I got one M5 kind of holding the line to himself. So I'm gonna retreat a little bit and uh, fight for another day. I don't want these Trelki get too close to me and there's four of them, five, six. So, you know, I'm, I'm in a lot of trouble here. But I'm gonna bring a B-26 Marauder with uh, eight 500 pound bombs. And uh, then I'm gonna be able to get back the initiative. Bofor still fighting. There you go. So that did a little bit of damage. I'm gonna move fast, try to get the uh, surrender of these guys, but then I see M42. So I gave the attack. If I die, I'm dead. So a lot of suppression. Hopefully he's not gonna be able to hit me. Gun jam. Uh, this is a big pickle for me right now. And there you go. I die only one bimp, really hard to suppress. So uh, I'm bringing some reinforcement here. M8 recon, uh, M3 recon with uh, some legionnaire. Here I've had some reinforcement. I didn't move them in the middle. I should have, I think. Fight is still going hard. 1311 for me right now. I got uh, this uh, M5 here helping me a lot into town. Now I started to shoot back his infant is uh 
his artillery and hopefully destroy it soon I'm bringing another long tom here so you know I figured Tanner is going to play the artillery game while I'm gonna do the same and this is why I like this deck first DFL they have a counter to pretty much everything so I'm gonna pound these guys from afar they're gonna have to retreat and let my infantry move in There you go. Plus, it's out of ammo or close. This shit is just about dead soon. Oops, I was on mute. Um, ask, uh, yeah, so I was saying asking the artillery here to um, to shoot from his spawn is just asking for the player, the opponent, to start counter battery. And if you start counter battery on your spawn, then you're gonna hit his troops trying to get to the front line. So, I mean, I'm doing the same thing here, so I'm no better. I'm doing the exact same thing but as a general rule of thumb try to move your artillery a bit on the side or you know somewhere somewhere else anyway m8 is doing a, a little bit of work here but oh that doesn't even kill him now my machine gun starts working on this guy that's pretty good it's a good combo but these t34 definitely gonna kill me I did move him a bimp into here, so I'm going to be able to do some work. I'm going to bring a Sherman as well. I'm still doing a little bit of work here, but it's getting dangerously close to getting these flag. He's still hitting me with his artillery. He does have a lot now because his, these histories are also, they can also shoot HE. I think they were intended for, for town. Because these are the AT variant, who has more HE than uh, who has more AP than HE. <coughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm bringing a lot of throwaway infantry here. Just I wanna, I wanna put some meat on the ground. These guys are doing quite the job. Uh, they're still alive. Sherman down. I think these guys killed it with HE alone. I'm not sure. Anyway. So I was trying to bring my B26 Marauders for these dudes, but uh, 
two one star 37 mil sure to do some damage there's a third one shooting at me there not even sure if i'm gonna survive this oh yeah i should i should All right, so the CIR AEF are getting in position. He's starting to shoot back at my uh, at my artillery, but now he doesn't have any more ammo, pretty much anywhere. He's out of ammo, so I'm just gonna pound him until he dies. Oof, that was close. Will he unload? Yep, yeah. making his unit unloading a spawn. I like that. All right, so now he's captured both flags in the town. It's starting to look pretty bad for me. Uh, but we are in phase C. And so income is going to play a big role now. So all I need to do is hold out. And it looks like I'm going to be able to do that. Another Sherman coming. Oh, actually, it's the same Sherman, I do believe. Going to do a little bit of damage on these 52P. Uh, still fighting for control here. I, I'm still holding the flag for now. And I still have bazooka units, so... I mean, I, well, I do have one, one of them. Doing quite the damage here. It's too bad I didn't have any AT guns in this forest. Usually you want that. I do have a tank destroyer. Will he do the job? I don't think so. I'm trying to bring my Sherman here to get the flank shot on him. Penetration from the tank destroyer. There we go. T-34 dead, but the uh, Sherman died as well. I only got a tank destroyer here, which isn't great. And it's an open top, so it dies to HE. All right. <laughs> Bring a lot of aft track here. I want to kill that T-34. There you go. It's happening. Just getting, uh, helping out with a bit of suppression on these dudes. One dead. I'm gonna unload the other one in, in range. There you go. Now I unload all of these because I know I got this guy there, T-34 dead. Uh, now I do have a, a pretty powerful armada here uh, with all these half tracks. It's sure I'm going to win this engagement, no doubt about it. He's captured these flags, now 59 for Tanner. Same here, he's captured back these lands. When I'm bringing more long toms, I'm going to try to to work some jobs here. Doesn't look like he has supply truck or he doesn't invest in them if he does. There you go. I do have some buffers here in town because I want to escape that shit. Doesn't stop this dude from throwing his bomb though, but uh, you know. All you can do is try. And this doesn't do a lot of damage, to be honest. He doesn't have any infantry here to push me. Anyway. Big, uh, big position here. My buffers is the only thing holding out. I'm gonna bring the LCAT on that SU. I'm bringing some uh, tank destroyers here. They're pretty slow though. That is one kill. Open top tank destroyers. A lot of after Machiki. So now with the long tom, I'm gonna start pounding his uh, his troops. I see these guys coming, so I'm gonna prepare my artillery. I'm 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 start I'm 
I'm fiddling with uh, where to shoot, actually. But there you go. One artillery is going to go there, the other there. So if he advances with infantry, that's going to get pounded. Still haven't unloaded this guy. I'm trying to take care of this T-34 by bringing these guys over there. Admittedly, I could have just used this guy. He would have went unnoticed. And uh, these guys are going to attract some attention. Because, uh, you know, he's got infantry there. He's going to see me coming for that. Alright. Still this guy unloaded. I'm going to bring some FFI Makizawa to fight in the forest. Artillery is falling down here as as planned. He's moving infantry towards All right, there you go There you go, and this guy's gonna be supporting the uh, the advance in town. So yeah, he saw me coming. He retreated there. Now I'm going to bring this dude back here on this road. I'm going to keep these guys there. Try to look for him. I do have some Sherman who's going to help me out clear the forest. Alright, so I'm pounding this area pretty badly. It's gonna suppress the Aftos. Or outright kill them eventually. 16 8 for Tanner. Um, starting to lose this pretty bad. I'm gonna do the flanking maneuver. Pretty dangerous, but uh, you no, know, this game sometimes is about taking risk. I'm going to have these Sherman destroy, finally, his support weapon here. <coughs> FFE Makizawa, they're pretty good because they do have the Molotov cocktail, which will give some suppression to enemy units. Maybe sometime even make them move, but uh, there you go. Now he gets to surrender because Saperis are superiors to FFE Makizawa. Here I'm losing my troops pretty badly. But I'm able to cut his reinforcement, which is a good thing. Uh, T3045 here will definitely kill these Shermans. Bringing FFE Makiza all over town. There you go, he's rearming there. He doesn't aim at my artillery. I'm shelling my own troops, it looks like. I'm going to unload before something kills me and then there you go gonna move with the Makizar gonna try to take back the hill we've been fighting for all game I'm shelling this place just before we do get to move on can we see? No, we can't see from here. There you go. Here we are. These guys are getting shot at. They're going to engage. They're not getting shot at. They are actually shooting at the Aftos. Town has been pretty moot, still fighting over it, but I did capture back these guys 
with the help of the M10. <coughs> Makizawa are also doing a number on these Aftos because we see them beforehand. This is what's happening in town right now. From uh, the perspective of the M10. We're getting shelled by that uh, 203 over there. So uh, there you go. I'm decided to shell these guys back. Oh, it looks like I killed everything here. Or no, actually he's moved them forward. And there you go. There's an IS-2 here on the map. Uh, I'm going to try to kill this guy first. He's pretty damaged already. He probably just has one. Uh, but yeah, IS-2 starting to... to going to create some damage for sure. Oof, direct hit. Now, uh, the only thing holding out here is one M10. Everyone died. The Aftos, two-star Aftos are coming in. They're, they're probably going to kill that dude. Poor dude doesn't see them, apparently. They're right there in front of him. How can he not? All right. Well, you know what? That's your own damn fault, you fucking moron. But anyway, I'm still trying here. And, uh, you know, the more you try, the more you waste the enemy's ammo. So... I don't think it's ever a bad thing to try. Uh, yeah, so all my troops died here. So I brought a bunch of Legionai with the Recon M5 Stuart M3. I got a bunch more uh, Legionai coming in here. And I mean, these guys. These guys are pretty good. Uh, three Thompson machine gun to rival... Uh, Aftos or whatever. One TNT to rival the Sapiri. Eight rifles to rival uh, infantry. Um, with two Browning automatic rifle. I think they're doing. I think they're very good on their own. I'm gonna cross. Try to make it to that forest. I've captured this back with the FFI Makiza. All he had was a SU-76 at the end, so I I, I pushed through. Doing a little bit of damage, but not much. This is going to do more damage. The B-25. What an absolute beast. Not a lot of payload on that one, though. Alright, there you go. So, Legion Eye at a distance is utterly going to destroy that Sapiri. 1311. But there's still that IS-2. It's shooting at my Bofors right now. And this dude is shooting at these guys. I'm going to bring my LCAT AT plane. There you go. That did a lot of suppression. His artillery finally died. I'm targeting this T-3045. Maybe I'm just targeting everything here, actually. Yeah. This one ran out of ammo. Keep trying with the plane. Making him use his ammo. I was able to shoot. So that's always a good thing too. There you go. Now I'm going to move in with the Makizaro. <laughs> and I do have BIMP units coming. Oh, I died. I do have BIMP's unit coming in with a entry recon. Uh, so, you know... <laughs> this is pretty fucked here for him. He's gonna have to bring the machine gun. He bring the Razvetka. It doesn't look like he's got more infantry. I'm gonna keep pounding his LCAT. Uh, I mean uh, his IS-2. Pretty damaged already. 1410. 
And, uh, well, you know, you know where this game is going. We're going to advance it a little bit. But let's, let's look this guy in, in action over the battlefield. Providing uh, close air support. Almost did nothing. Suppress these dude. There's a uh, SU-76 here holding out. All right, so here I'm gonna obviously I'm gonna control this area there with the bimps and the M3 recon. I'm gonna try to push with the Makizal taking this. Um. Ah, this buffer is actually, you know, was about to run out of ammo. So I'm bringing the logistic there. I'm bringing my own B-26 Marauders now in group. I'm going to try to destroy that 37 mil, which I do. And now I'm going to resupply these dudes, put them in the same corner because there's no point. Uh, I mean, Tanner hasn't been destroying me this whole, this old, this whole game. He hasn't done anything against my, my stuff. So anyway, I bring more bimps here. I'm pounding there, um, you know, just doing God's work there. 12 12, 14 10 for Tanner. But this, this is not gonna last long now. I is too dead. He's got nothing to throw at me but tanks. And I mean, most of my infantry are anti tank. Nice effort though, but you know, here. I can destroy everything there. T3045 will destroy my M3. Transmission destroyed, there you go. <laughs> I got tons of legionnaires. I'm gonna go in the line there and flush out all of his infantry. Bimps are gonna eventually destroy that T34. Lots of support weapon here. Now's the time, you know. Now there's only just one SU-76 holding the flag. I'm gonna keep pushing. These guys might die. Mm, no, I don't think so. There you go. And there you go. 17-7. <laughs> Kill the KV-85 with the half tracks, and there you go. Tanner, surrender, and this is my first time ever fucking beating Tanner. Apart from that one time where I gave him my uh, Estonian deck, but you know, that doesn't really count because he's playing a deck he's not used to. Now, Endo, you're going to say, well, he was playing 19P, 19 Tank Corp, and you were playing DFL, and DFL is really OP, and 19P is really, they do suck. But it doesn't matter. Because this was QP, we met with the division we had, and I killed him. And um, But you know, to be honest, it was late at night. In the, in the previous game, I there was Tanner, and he destroyed me in about 18 minutes. And so I picked this deck to go against him. And I was hoping to see him in battle. And there you go, I saw him. He wasn't playing an OP division, and I beat him. And that's all there is to it. Oh boy. Look at that. Yep. This guy did a lot of work.
he really uses T thirty four well, and you can you can see by that the skills you know. There's this guy on Reddit posting about his victory against the AI, and he's like, "Oh, look at my units! They've killed so many," and he's playing the AI on medium difficulty, and um, but you know this is something to boast about there. Jesus Christ! Look at that. Anyway, can we see his profile? Yes, we can. There you go. 86% victory ratio and rank. I mean, this guy is good. 2,100 2, victories to 933 defeat. Whew. You don't fuck with that. This is a Division 2 player. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed the battle. And as always, I will see you for another one at another time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.